Lead Me On is uh, actually the only song on the record that I didn't write. Uh, it's a Don Roby composition, but that's kind of irrelevant. What's really relevant is that it's a Bobby Blue Bland record that I got when I was in college. And I just was blown away by this because it's a really interesting album. It's, it's not really an album, it's a collection of singles. That's more what the late 50s, early 60s was about. But there are several songs on this record that had Bobby Blue Bland, you know, really just raw and totally emotional. But behind him is actually a string orchestra and it's kind of nightclub-y and sort of upper end kind of thing. And I love the juxtaposition of that. It was unexpected. I thought I was just getting a blues record, but I got something maybe a little bit more so. And the particular string arrangement for Lead Me On has a pretty interesting harmonic quality to it. It's not just the chords you would expect to hear. Um, and it always stuck with me. I, I really just love the string arrangement on Bobby Bland's Lead Me On. So once we started really incorporating strings into Birdsong at Morning, I, I really thought back to the song that maybe, maybe it might have been the first time I got really conscious about what a string arrangement could be and do. So it's my homage to that record is to do Lead Me On. And um, it reminds me, I should talk a little bit about how we do our string parts, especially in the studio. We've been really fortunate to find a group of players that have played with us. Some folks, Marissa Licata, our first violinist, has played on all of her records and many of our concerts. She's in the videos. She's uh, been central to the development of Birdsong at Morning, and she has done a lot of the outreach to bring in some of the other players. So um, what we'll do in the studio, because I honestly can't afford an orchestra, but we can fake an orchestra. And what we'll do is we'll start with the string quartet, two violins, viola, a cello. And that's what the arrangement scored for, and we record it that way. And on the, on the uh, recordings from Annals of My Glass House, we would just have multiple takes of the quartet. Um, and then I can balance them a little bit differently to kind of create fake orchestras. For all the songs on A Slight Departure, we really went after the larger orchestral sound. So we would be doing three takes of a string quartet, but then to really make it like an orchestra would be, we then did even more of the upper violin parts. So to kind of change the quality, um, we'd move some of the players around uh, to play either viola or violin parts. And what you'll uh, hear on the record is quartets with then another set of second violin parts and another set of first violin parts. It's all really the same players, but they're doing slightly different things and they're positioned differently in the room. So it ends up sounding, and certainly to my ears, really feeling like a larger scale orchestra. And that's really crucial for something as exposed as, as Lead Me On. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge as a little bit of Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah in the vocal and guitar idea. Um, Jeff Buckley's performance is legendary and he didn't need an orchestra to make him sound good, but I like having something to lead back on. So uh, we got the strings, we've got the guitar, we've got the vocal, and we got a little piece of my own musical history in there, and that's leading me on. <laughs> 